Hi and welcome to the Guitar Repair Channel. Hope you guys are doing really good. This is a video I've been waiting to do for a real long time. And in today's video, I'll be changing the sustain block on my Floyd Rose Special Guitar. With the Floyd Rose Special Tremolo, the block that comes with it is made of zinc alloy. Uh, it's not the most resonant material, so I'm going to be replacing the zinc block with a brass block which is made by Schaller and I'm also upgrading it into a slightly bigger size. Now this guitar has a Floyd Rose Special Guitar. It came with a 34mm zinc block. I'll be using a Schaller 37mm brass block. Both Floyd Rose and Schaller make sustain blocks in three different sizes 32, 37 and 42 millimeters. Check the size of your Floyd Rose special block first. The size is stamped on the back in millimeters. Mine was a 34 millimeter block. Next, check the depth of the cavity. Most import guitars have a narrow cavity. So fitting a fat sustain block may hamper your tremolo travel. Pick the next best size for your sustain block. The Shala block I chose was the 37mm. It's a normal block, not an oversized one. Now, what are the advantages of using the Shala block? The main difference was the extra 3mm height and also the material of the sustain block. It's made of pure brass coated with nickel. I emailed the company and their director confirmed this, as you can see in the screen grab. There's no extra routing or digging up the guitar's cavity. Your tremolo will travel both up and down with no problem. I am going to be using the same gauge of strings which is 942. Pliers handy just in case. These are wire cutters. These are string winders. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. So I am keeping two. One is a small one, one is a slightly larger one. And you also need the right kind of allen keys or hex wrenches whatever you call it uh, these usually come with the guitar when you buy them or you can even have a set bought from the local hardware store so these are absolutely essential to open up the bridge and of course you need the new sustain block the first thing you have to do is loosen the locking nuts The next thing to do is loosen the strings on your guitar, reduce the tension. The next thing you gotta do is remove the strings from the saddings. Use the 3mm allen wrench for this one. Once the old strings are taken out, we have to remove the saddles. To change the sustain block, you only need to remove 4 saddles. That is the B, G, A and D strings. Leave the saddles on the E strings as it is. There are three bolts under the four saddles which connects to the sustain block. We have to loosen those three bolts. So to remove uh, these four saddles you will need a different allen wrench. I think this is the 2.5 millimeter if I am not mistaken. And you have got to loosen these intonation screws, the four intonation screws, mainly of the B, G, D and A strings. Just loosen it, no need to take it out completely. One more thing which you could do is mark your intonation before removing or loosening anything. But right now I have loosened it, so it's okay. You will have to set the intonation once again. So you take these out and keep them carefully in the order that you have taken it out. So that you know which saddle goes where. Remember guys the saddles are numbered and they will also fall in with the radius of your neck. So it's very important to have the right numbered saddles in the right position otherwise your strings will be wonky. Uh, if you need any more help on this one there's another video which I've done where I talk about replacing your saddles on a Floyd Rose Special. That will give you more information about the numbering and the sequence, etc, etc. So now the four saddles are removed and you can see the bolt here. 
I think you can see there's one, two and three. I think these are M5 screws, M5 bolts they're called. But before we remove these, flip the guitar over and you have to remove the back plate. For this you need a Phillips head screwdriver and you will remove just these six screws. Once the panel is out, you'll also have to remove these springs. Now removing them is quite easy because there's no tension. Now your springs are out and this is your zinc alloy sustain block. This is the Floyd Rose special sustain block and it's also 34 millimeters. Make sure that you don't lose any of these shims or anything else. Uh, you know, th these are all very important parts, so don't lose them. Only remove these three bolts and the sustain block should come out. A direct comparison, this is the Shala block and this is the original. It's just three millimeter taller. You see that? It's exact same dimensions, only a bit taller. Now let's remove these three bolts. Here's the sustain block that's come out. So this is your fine tuner plates, this is your shim, and this is your base plate. This is a little test to see how light the zinc alloy block is. Let's weigh it. 77 grams. This is 118 grams. So this is heavier. You know, this is way heavier. It also feels heavier. So when you're reassembling it, your bridge, your fine tuner plate goes in first and then comes the shim and then comes the block. Alright? Make sure you tighten them properly. Don't put too much pressure, don't strip away the bolts as well. There you have the new sustain block installed already. The nice thing about installing uh, a Shala block on your Floyd Rose Special is that everything fits as per spec. Shala makes the original Floyd Roses as well. So everything is built according to the same exact measurements, everything, like the bol bolts fit in perfectly fine, the, even the block fits in just, just perfectly fine. So you don't have to do, I mean there's, there isn't any modification to do except just parts replacement, it's a simple parts replacement. Let's replace the saddles in. Now I have kept these saddles the same way I took them out, so I know the order in which they have to go. So once you've got the saddles in and the saddle inserts in, it's time to sort of lock the intonation nuts. Now this intonation nut, I'm just locking it for now so that I can string the guitar. I'll have to set intonation on this guitar later on. Now we've got to install the bridge in the guitar. So to do that, Now another important tip while installing the sustain block is that the sustain block holes for the springs are at an angle. So make sure that your sustain block is not reversed. Uh, basically on a Shala, the mm size should be facing the bridge and not towards the neck. Okay, 
so right now I can see 37 written here at the back and the, the number stamped should be visible from here and not from here it should be visible from here that's the only way your springs are going to go inside otherwise they'll keep popping out so that's a very important tip we'll have to set the intonation again uh, but right now the strings are all in so let's tune it up and lift the bridge so after you've tuned the guitar, set up the sustain block and everything, just close off the back plate by putting in these screws. Right? So here's just a quick demo of how the sustain block is sounding. Uh, in my opinion, it's sounding really nice. The guitar is sounding much fuller. Uh, the sustain also has improved and uh, the Floyd Rose just feels a bit more solid and I think that's a good thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with this little upgrade. All it cost me was about 20 euros, 20-22 euros uh, just for the sustain block and uh, yeah the guitar sounds really nice and different. It sounds way different than when I had the zinc block on. Check it out for yourself. <laughs>
stuff like that sounds better when you're doing double stops. Or you know playing chord, general chord work is sounding much nicer. So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will uh, have learnt a few things about changing the sustain block on your Floyd Rose special guitar. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I will try my level best to reply to each one of you all. Thank you, have a lovely day and see you guys. Bye.